Taoiseach, uh, I've asked you on a number of occasions, given the new public health measures and the injunction for people to, to reduce their social contacts, to uh, resurrect supports for musicians, for entertainers, for taxi drivers and people in the nighttime economy. Now, on the 2nd of November, the cross-party group uh, uh, on music and entertainment uh, wrote to a number of ministers asking for those sectoral specific supports, and particularly the part-time um, uh, the part-time self-employed scheme would have formed the basis of an income support where musicians, entertainment uh, people, and I would say taxi drivers as well, similarly as was the case before, could earn up to a certain amount and get some support given that their work has uh, dramatically reduced as a result of the public health measures at a time when they would have expected to make quite a lot of money coming up to Christmas. Just to remind deputies that the original question was about the programme for government and um, to, to say that the, you know, the key elements of that programme for government have been groundbreaking and significantly uh, developed and delivering housing for all is the biggest state investment in housing in the country's history. And I talked to that, which suggested that they can go to the Minister maybe with specifics because he's adamant that local uh, issue doesn't arise anymore. You, you, the accommodation should be provided. We have faced up to and we've responded to the climate and biodiversity crisis. Other parties haven't. They're playing politics with it. Uh, the government has decided to go for it, passed the law, passed the climate action plan and the carbon budget. And we need those who are particularly against the climate and are almost in denial about the climate to really come on board, because this needs to be an Oireachtas uh, approach. Managing our country safely through the COVID pandemic, I think, has been a significant achievement of government so far. We've rolled out one of the most successful, uh, successful vaccine programmes uh, globally. We've plotted the country's social and economic recovery. It's been significant since springtime. Uh, with unprecedented direct financial supports and Ireland's largest ever capital investment programme in the NDP. And we are delivering and developing the most significant initi initiative on North-South relations in decades through the Sh Shared Island Initiative. And we're embedding health reform in the lessons learned from COVID-19. In respect of bespoke measures for um, the, the entertainment or musicians in, in that area, the Minister has actually announced some schemes. We'll continue to work on that and government will keep that under review in terms of more bespoke models to support those who may still be under pressure in respect of the current situation. In terms of PEAT, uh, let's be very clear, um, government can't break the law, can't advocate the breaking of the law. This was uh, co court actions, and, but people never tell the, the straight story here. The courts, the courts arbitrated on PEAT. We have to, anything we do has to be in line with your EU directives and in your EU environmental law. But the, I have no difficulty in publishing the report, but the ministers are coming together to see can we get a resolution to this for the horticultural sector. Uh, in terms of Deputy O'Sullivan, the income thresholds, I, I get your point about more discretion, more flexibility in terms of the fuel alliance. Uh, and um, I will talk to the Minister for Social Protection in that regard and other ministers in respect of measures we're introducing to reduce the overall, um, um, to reduce the overall levels. Uh, and the income threshold will be made retrospective to, to, to budget the, uh, in the increase in that. But I know what you're saying, it's not enough. We need to do more, uh, Deputy Devlin, on diabetes. Very important issue. Uh, and again, we're, uh, I'll work with the Minister and the HSE to expand diabetes services. Um, and progress has been made. In terms of renters, again, I haven't seen that article, Deputy Barry. Um, and um, I'll have to see the article before I can comment on it. Um, I'm not finished yet. I'm, coming to, I'm going to reverse backwards. Apologies. Yeah. Um, and um, Deputy Lockley, I think we gave a fair bit of time to the, the defective block issue. Uh, it's a very comprehensive scheme. Uh, we, did ask, we did ask for very specific submissions from parties. Your party decided not to respond to the minister. I do not. It's central. The housing agency is central to, to, to the bank, you know. And um, Deputy Kelly did raise the issue in terms of, 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 of the Limerick mayoral office uh, and election. Uh, and I would hope that we, I mean, we are working on the legislation. Uh, and I do take your point that it's it, certainly in 2022 now clearly has to be the time to get that legislation passed through this house um, and, and developed. Um, and in respect of, of masks for nine-year-olds, this has been advised, it will be required. But it, it, yeah, it has been advised and it will be required. We're not going to regulate in law in terms of legal regulations. I think we've got to work with children and, and, and be practical about this, and children with special needs in particular. Uh, and also, in terms of deputy, yeah, I dealt with everybody. I think Deputy Barry, I dealt with antigen all day. 
Um, but the, the, the important point in relation to antigen is um, the 136,000, sorry, up to 130,000 given out free now through close contacts, 100, 100, close to 100 and odd more thousand, sorry, I'm wrong, 100,000 close contacts given out free, 130,000 for the food production and the agriculture sector, about 22,000 in higher education, all freely dispatched, 8,000 yesterday alone in respect to primary schools dispatched free to close contacts in, in, in terms of children. And so there's a lot of antigen being given out free to targeted groups, which makes sense. And then in terms of the overall price range has come down to between two and okay, three euros. Uh, the That's alternative fair. would be about half a billion uh, if we were to make them free the over 12 months. And I think we have to allocate and use our resources wisely as well. Okay.